Good evening once more. This is Voice of Hope Ministry for Youth and tonight we are going to have a short sharing by Madam Skita and I am Ibrahim. Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us once again. And before we do our sharing today, may we have a word of prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for enabling us to be here and to listen from thy word. We can do pray that you help us through. Fill us with the Holy Spirit and help us understand whatever we are going to read. For we pray, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Our word comes from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 11. And the Bible reads, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. Now these are the words of Jesus Christ speaking to the disciples when he was with them. And he tells them that these things that he is speaking, he speaks them so that our his joy may remain in them, and that this joy that remains in them may be full. Now, our topic today is the key to happiness, the key to joy and happiness. Now, how can you be happy in this world which is so troublesome? Every day we feel <clears throat> that we wish we were in another land. We wish that there was somewhere where we can stay free from the troubles. We feel that there should be somewhere whereby we can stay far away from the calamities, the things that disturb us, that de destroy our peace of mind. And in each and every moment we wonder where can we find peace? Where is that safe place where we can go and hide ourselves and everything will just be okay? And when we read, we are comforted by these words when Jesus speaks that he is writing us these things so that his joy can remain in us. So what kind of joy is this that can remain in us? What And what are these things that he writes to us? When he speaks these things, he means that the, his words of counsel, his words of encouragement, his words of guidance on how we should live. Remember when Christ lived, he gave an example from all walks of life. He gave an example on how people should eat. He gave an example on how things even of the church should be conducted, even in the synagogues. He gave an example even of marriages. Everywhere he went, he led, he led an example. And on those things that he gave, where he did not give an exact example, he said it is written, referring us back to the prophets, back to the old writings which were written. So in short, he gave us the Bible, the whole of it. Where he could not leave an example, he said it is written and sent us back to refer to what the old prophets had said concerning the matter. And now, when he says that all these things that he has been speaking to us are for our own comfort, it means that we can find peace by reading this word. We can find peace by following the concepts which are written in this Bible in truth and in spirit with a willing heart that is ready to learn, filled with the Holy Spirit. When he says that, I, that my joy may remain in you, that is the joy which I now feel. In short, Christ is telling them that the joy that now I feel, on account of your steady affectionate attachment to me, may be lasting. I give you both warnings and directions that you may abide in the faith. And then when he said that your joy might be full, that means your joy might be complete, in other words. And therefore, if you want to have a complete love, if you want to enjoy the things that you want to enjoy and have peace of mind, the first thing that you ought to do in your life is to have the things concerning Jesus. Remember the other time we said that the Bible gives a testimony of who Jesus Christ is. And if you want to understand, then you have to read the Bible to understand Christ more. And therefore, if you want peace again, Christ tells us that these things he has written is for our own joy so that we may have joy. Like he experiences joy with the Father, like he enjoyed that peace and love and joy with his disciples. He wanted us also to enjoy the same kind of joy in this day. And the only way, there is only one way to be really happy. We must remain in a close relationship with Jesus at all times, not just at one given moment when you want peace, but at all times. Jesus was joyful always because he was united with God the Father. He knew that his Father loved him completely. Jesus loved his disciples as much as his father loved him. And Jesus loves all his genuine followers in this special way. We can know his wonderful love 
all the time if we remain in a close relationship with him. And therefore, when we do that, we are going to be happy. But remember, Jesus emphasized that we must obey his commandments. Then we will be happy inside our hearts, whether good or bad things happen. When we know Jesus' love daily, our happiness does not depend on our situation. It depends on him. I repeat that, my fellow brethren, so that you can go with me. When we know Jesus' love daily, our happiness does not depend on our situation. It does not depend if something wrong happened. It does not depend if something good happened. Happiness, when you know Christ, will depend on him. He will never leave us and he will always love us. An assuring word because I have testified it and I've felt it and I've enjoyed it and I've experienced it. That whenever we love Jesus Christ, he never leaves us and he will always love us. So brethren, if you want to have complete happiness in your life, Jesus is the way and the things that he wrote for us in the Bible are the true key for happiness, for joy that will last forever. Not as this world gives, but only as Jesus Christ will give, the author and finisher of our story. He is the key to our happiness. God bless you. Amen.